I've noticed that one of the things that stops people from creating content consistently is that they are concerned about the order of the topics that they are going to be writing about or making videos about. Well, I have to figure out the order first, uh, what should come first, what should come second, third, fourth, and then I can start to create content, right? It seems to make sense, but what you don't realize is that it's after you start creating content that you get clearer about the order, okay? So, and when I say create, I really mean create and share. Because if you're just creating in your own closet and you're not sharing it with the audience, sharing it with the wider market, you don't get feedback about what questions people have, which then will determine what order you start creating things in. Okay, so the order of what you should be doing is just create consistently first and then worry about the sequence and order later. You don't even have to worry. You just have to, after a while, you look back on the content you've created and then you say, oh, okay, well, this could, if I were to write a book, I could put this, this blog post first and then that one and then this one and then, oh, there's a gap here, so maybe I'll create more content. That is really how um, we can do it in, in the social media age very efficiently and very effectively because when you're creating in response to your market, um, you are creating much more relevantly versus the fantasy of I'm going to figure out the order of everything I'm going to do first. Uh, my whole video series is going to be like this. My whole blog post series is going to be like this. And then I'm going to put it out there. And then suddenly people will want to consume it in order. And that's another fantasy. That's another um, illusion is that your audience isn't going to consume your content in order. Some of you are watching this video and you're like, this is the first time you've ever encountered me. This is not, you know, I, should this be the very first video you watch from me? It doesn't matter. And so let me give you a couple tips on why each video or each blog post can stand on its own. If you show up to each blog post or each video as authentically you as you can, don't pretend to be anybody else, just be as you as you possibly can, and then share whatever knowledge on whatever topic you know at the time, knowing that inevitably your opinions are gonna change. Yes, you're gonna look back on your blog post or video a year, two, five years later and go, wow, I didn't know that much back then. And that's great because that means you have undergone the process called learning and discovery. If you think you can create an order of topics before you get started, you are assuming that you're never gonna learn and grow and wouldn't that be a boring and, and terrible life because does that mean you are the best, you are the most knowledgeable that you could possibly be for the rest of your life right now? That's terrible. No, you probably are, hopefully, I feel like I'm hopefully at 1% of what I could possibly learn about my field for the rest of my life now. I'm, I'm in my 40s right now. Hopefully I'll work until I'm in the 80s or 90s, given medical technology. Maybe I'll work until the hundreds, okay? God, if I, if I already knew everything, oh my God, the rest of my career is gonna be so incredibly boring. So. I know that I am going to figure out, my God, these are huge gaps in my knowledge. I didn't know that back in 2019, I didn't know 99% of the things that I do now. I would say on my deathbed, you know, and, and on my, you know, two days before my deathbed, I'll, I'll publish another book <laughs> with, with my, my best ordering of things. No, but what I'm saying is stop worrying about it. What you should be most worried about, if you're going to worry about anything or to be concerned about anything, the only thing is, are you creating and posting and sharing and publishing your own original content consistently? Now, what is consistent, that's up to you. If it's once a week, great, start there. If it's gonna be every day, ironically, every day is probably easier than once a week because every day means there's no question, whereas once a week is like, oh, well, oh my God, you know, you're worried the whole week before you do it, right? Every day, there's just, you just do it, and then the next day you do it, and the next day you do it. So every day is easier than doing it once a week. And once a week is easier than doing it once a month. It, it just works that way. So 
but I don't want to pressure you. If you want to do it just once a week, do it once a week. Um, and then knowing that if you show up as authentically you and then showing up with whatever knowledge you already have, not worried about all the things you're going to learn in the future, all the opinions that are going to change in the future, don't worry about any of that. Because back to uh, something that Gary Vaynerchuk said, which is document, don't create. Think of your content journey as a public journaling, as a documentation of your journey that you're going to be so proud to look back and go, yep, I documented my growth along the way and my audience came with me. Your audience will, the, the audience that are meant for you sense a particular energy signature within you. It doesn't matter what mistakes you make. It doesn't matter how, how, how not smart you are. Whatever you think judgments you might have about yourself, they, those don't matter. If you show up, the people that are meant for you will sense that there's something there with you that they just, I can't put their finger on. But it's not how eloquent you are. It's not how smart you are. It's not how with the facts you are. Or No, it's something intangible that they like about you. And so they will follow your journey from whatever you know now to being smarter and wiser and more experienced. And, and 10 years later, you're you know, some thought leader and you still have another 50 years to go or 30 or 20 or however old you are when you want to stop creating content. Hopefully until your deathbed. Okay, that's my that's my plan. I will create content until you know I have too much Alzheimer's or something. Okay, then I'll then I'll be blabbering and maybe some of you will still be following by that point. <laughs> It'll be more entertaining back then because all everything will be new for me. Like oh, the first time I ever talked about content. Right. Um, okay, so remember that every piece of content. Just assume that every piece of content needs to stand on its own. Stop this illusion of I'm going to create a series of content and people are going to read this one and then they're going to read that one and they're going to read this one. It might be true for an email autoresponder. That's different. It might be true for a series of videos leading up to a course launch. That's different. What I'm talking about here is the regular rhythm. Don't feel like you have to do a series. Stop with the series stuff. Just every piece needs to stand on its own because the, the, the way that your audience and new people are going to consume your content is they're not going to go to your blog or your YouTube channel or your Facebook and go, let me figure out which one I should start with first and then which one. No, no, no. People don't do that. No, no one, very few people do that. People just go to your Facebook page and look at your latest thing. That's all or whatever's pinned at the top. They go to your YouTube channel, look at your latest video or whatever your trailer of your channel is. And then they go to the video section. They look at the latest videos. They go to your Instagram. They're not going to go to the scroll down to the very first one. They're going to look at your first picture, right? Or whatever is in the first couple of rows. Your blog, they're not going to like scroll back, back, back to the first blog. And nobody's blog, no, no blog that I know of is ordered from beginning to end. Everything is ordered from the most recent one to the, to all the way to the beginning. So people always start at the most recent one. They don't start at a particular point that you want them to start. So every piece of content needs to stand on its own. Now, obviously, every piece of content is also within the larger framework of your body of work. I mean, just like you know, some, a lot of you who've been following me know that I have a lot of ideas. I have a lot of huge framework. But every single time you watch one of my videos, it stands on its own. Or every time you read a blog post, it stands on its own. You can just learn this and be, be good with it. You can learn that. Okay, so just, just assume that your audience has enough background knowledge. Okay, just assume it. Don't worry that, oh, they should know this first and then they should know that before they know this. No, don't worry about that. What, whatever piece you are creating right now, just assume that the, the, whoever is going to consume it knows all the other stuff already. Okay? And you just say whatever you want to say about that one piece. That's it. And then, and then in the future, you can put your various blog posts into a book and then you, can, then you can order it. After you've already published it as blog posts, then you can put those in order. Or your videos, after you've already posted all your videos, then you can figure out, okay, if I'm gonna create an online course, then topic B really should have been the first one or topic F should have been the second one, whatever. You can then figure it out then and then re-record it or, or use the ones you've already recorded. I don't, it doesn't matter. So every topic needs to stand on its own. 
Don't worry about the series. Don't think about this first, that first, okay? Because people will consume it from the latest one first. Now, in a blog post, you can, of course, link to previous blog posts you've written, and that's a good idea to do so for search engine optimization. You can link to, okay, uh, if you're going to talk about a particular idea and you think, well, it'd be nice for the audience to have some additional context about this idea, then link to you know, another blog post you've written about that idea. Now, if you haven't written about that idea yet, don't worry. Put it down on your content to-do list and say, oh, I'm going to write about that idea some, time, some other time. And then I'll come back to this blog post and I'll link it. Okay. Things can be created in the future that should have been created before. It doesn't matter. So, for example, this very video, this video should have been one of the first videos I ever made. It's about the ordering of content. People are so worried about that, right? But I didn't realize until recently that I needed to talk about this. So that's why I'm talking about it now, five years late after I've already written, you know, four books and created over a thousand videos. Now I'm doing this beginner thing. It doesn't matter. Everybody who is meant to be part of your audience will enjoy your content. If it's stand, if each piece is standalone, they'll just keep enjoying it. That's all. So I hope this is helpful. And um, the most important thing, you know, is is getting into that rhythm, whatever your rhythm is, the rhythm of your content creation and posting it online. The order and the sequence can come later when you're writing your book, you're creating your online course or you're finally writing your email autoresponder, if you want to do that, that's fine, okay? But just on a daily or weekly basis, don't worry about the order, man. Just, just go. So then you have the liberation. You have the freedom to be authentic to whatever you want to talk about that, at that point, whatever you want to write about that day. Just do it. It's okay, all right? So uh, thanks for those who are joining me. I'm going to read out some of the comments here. Um, yeah. <laughs> Peter says, uh, hi, George. The other day I was looking at some of your videos from four or five years ago, and they were very different. You've come a long way, You've grown to where you are now. Yeah, thank you, Peter. I don't know. Actually, I don't actually know if my video skills have gotten better. I've been really, really haphazard. I haven't done deliberate practice, which probably should, I've been so busy with so many things that I know my video skills could be probably improved, but my confidence has gotten greater. So that's, that's, that's helpful already. And my knowledge has, of course, developed more. But my video skills, probably my videos from four or five years ago are probably more, uh, probably even better to watch because, uh, well, I, back then I was doing three or four takes for every video. Now I'm doing one take. So, uh, so thank you, though, for your comment. Appreciate it. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, Peter says, yes, this, this idea of, Creating content just as is without worrying about the order is definitely more accessible and allows us to all grow and support each other. Yes, absolutely. Um, Sabine says, yes, this is my experience as well. So thank you. And David says, um, you helped dis dispel the common myths that hold us back. So thank you, David, for that. And thanks also to Shweta and Captain for joining, as well as um, Kirsten, Roberto, Grayson, Melanie, Kendra, thank you all for joining me live. That's, that's who I can see here anyway on the screen. And until the next video, you know what to do. Go and get creating. All right. Blessings.